everybody, this is Rudy Jalapena, and welcome to 5 Minutes or Less. Today we're going to be talking about the new Christopher Nolan movie, Dunkirk. Now, Dunkirk takes place in 1940 during World War II. About 400,000 soldiers are surrounded by German forces, and this is a story of how people are trying to get them out. Now, I'm going to start by saying I didn't love Dunkirk. I liked it, and I enjoyed it for what it was, but I didn't love it. Dunkirk has a very non-linear type of narrative to the story. The way the movie unfolds is not the way that your average movie flows. So let me kind of explain what I'm talking about here, okay? Um, every film has what they call a three-act structure, you know, a beginning, a middle, and an end. Um, imagine like you're going on a road trip, okay? So you start the road trip, stop and get gas, and then you arrive where you're going. All right, that's basically three things. Imagine that as the basic way of storytelling. The way Dunkirk unfolds, it's like you're on three road trips at one time. So you have three separate structures going at once. And this is a war picture, so you have on the ground, in the sea, and in the air. And those are the three narratives that you follow throughout the entire film. So if I look at the film that way, I, I understand what the movie was trying to do. Christopher Nolan is an amazing director. He directed The Dark Knight, he directed you know, Batman Begins, he did another movie that I loved, Memento. If you haven't seen Memento, you have to see Memento. Uh, he did Interstellar, he's done lots of great movies. But the way he structured this story, it just I just didn't buy it. I didn't like it. For me, I really wanted to connect to the story more on an emotional level. There was no backstory for any of the characters, and that's something that I really missed. The movie has some really great actors in it. It has Kenneth Branagh, who's also a great director. Um, it has Tom Hardy, who played Bane in The Dark Knight Rises. Um, Killian Murphy, he's been in a number of films, and a lot of them are Christopher Nolan films. Um, but I just, I, I wanted to connect more to these characters, and I just couldn't. There's not a lot of dialogue in Dunkirk. In fact, I really didn't know any of the characters' names in the movie, just the actors' names. There was an emotional disconnect throughout the entire film, and I, that bothered me. I felt like the idea behind Dunkirk was to put you into the war, and if that is what the idea was, then that is what the movie accomplished. I mean, you hear the bullets whizzing by you, and when you do, it almost makes you feel like you're in a horror film. I mean, you, you hear planes whizzing by you, you hear explosions going off, and the, the explosions take you out of your seat, and they embed you into the chilling reality that is war, and that's... I mean, that was Christopher Nolan's objective to begin with. Christopher Nolan has crafted a very unique experience with Dunkirk, one you probably haven't seen before. The movie moves at a very, very quick pace, and it's just under two hours. Um, the editing felt a little messy to me, though. It was really jarring, and at times I really didn't know what was going on. Again, this is not a storytelling type of film. Um, the movie is very, very intense. The movie's job is to immerse you into war and all the grave consequences that follow, and it does an astounding job of that. So for me, I'm giving the movie three and a half out of five stars, and I'll tell you why. It's for the experience. The movie itself is aesthetically breathtaking, and it deserves to be seen in the theater. So while my enjoyment level was at about, mm, about three stars, um, just the intensity of the film, the sound, oh my gosh, Hans Zimmer has an amazing score. It just keeps you on the edge of your seat the whole time. But, but the sound design, the score, the visuals, um, it brings the experience level for me up to a three and a half stars out of five. So those are my thoughts. Um, follow me at uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and I'll catch you guys later.